Hello guys, welcome to Tech Bus Techs today. Today I'm going to show you how easy to automate your daily dive routing process without just missing it by using an app. This app was developed by IFTTT and the app name was IF. So this app will be used to get the real-time notifications and to work with the real-time data by automating it, which will make life easier. So this app consists of a predefined combination of automations. You can just use it by logging into your accounts. So here I'm just opening the app. If you see here on the top right corner, you'll find an option where you can make automations. In this app terminology, it is called as recipes. I have already created an automation which is simple and basic, but you can also do the complex automations for your small businesses or for home automations. If you choose this plus icon here, it will show you all the apps you can do automations with. It has almost all major apps you daily work with. Or if you still want some predefined automations, which this app serves you, it will be under this recommendations tab where you can work with these connections by just logging into your accounts with which you want to do some automations. Or else you can just find a bunch of collection wise automations. It will be in the collections tab, like for your small businesses or for your home automations or for your car automations or for internet of thing automations and many more. If you go inside these collections, you'll find the collections related automations. If you didn't find the automation you want, you can just work with your own automations like uh, let's take a business scenario here. If you need all the email contents which is uh, which you get in a Gmail and to be saved in the Google Drive Excel sheet in a row wise, I mean you want just uh, a specific type of emails. So you can just uh, uh, filter those things also using these automations. So all we need to do is connect our Gmail account as well as the Google Drive account and create some rules. Here I'm connecting my Gmail account. If you want to disconnect this account with this app, you can just do it here by choosing the settings and disconnect channel. Now I will connect my Google Drive account. Both the accounts are now connected to this app. Now choose the Gmail to set up because this is where the emails are coming from. So this will be your first step. Choose the create recipe at the bottom and choose this plus icon and choose Gmail. So now you need to choose the condition out of all the conditions here. I'm choosing here the third option which is new email in inbox from search because I want only to get the specific type of emails to be saved in the Excel sheet. So now you need to provide the search term. If you don't know how to write the search term, don't worry. Here is a helper link below called search operators. You can just choose from those search operators in this page. So now from this bunch of search options, just choose one and type it in in the search field. So in I know my search term here, I'll just type it in the app. Search term will retrieve the email with the subject containing applied or applying. Then choose next and then now choose the plus sign. And uh, next thing to set up is a Google Drive. So choose the Google Drive. And choose the last option, add rows to Excel spreadsheet. Now you'll see here multiple fields. The first field uh, is for the spreadsheet name and the last field is for the location of the spreadsheet in the Google Drive. Now the second field is indicating how the data from the email to be filled in the rows of the spreadsheet. So the first column contains the time and date and the second column contains the address and the third column contains the subject of the email and the fourth column contains the body of the email. And the last two columns are not needed in this scenario so I'm just removing it. So this is the basic syntax how the data is saved in the excel sheet as columns. Choose next. Now choose whether to receive the notification whenever this automation runs and choose finish. Now the recipe is added to your automations. So now let's try sending an email to this email address provided and let's check whether the file is created in the Google Drive. Let me show you that my Google Drive is empty.
here it is and I will send an email from my email address to this email address itself so it should create a folder with named ifttt and uh, a subfolder called gmail and it will create a file with the file name which we have given at the time of setup so it will create all these subfolders and excel file on this emails google drive and this will work with other emails also i have tried that let's try uh, wait for some more time to automatically run this automation to show you Here it is. Let's take a look at the actual sheet which is inside these folders. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and for more tech updates, please subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye bye.